How are you, everyone? It's morning time here in Melbourne, and it's very early. I got up、um, and did some workouts and did some readings, and here I am. I'm sending kids to school. I really want to share something that、um, I think you guys will be very interested. And、um, as usual, I've got my notes in front of me. And today, I'm going to share with you that. Um, how a logistics network can bring value. So、um, we have been sharing many other topics topics recently about logistics networks, how you get most from it, and、um, why do you join or should you join a network or not. But today. I think for many people who are not familiar with logistics network, or you want to know more about it, I think today you're going to get a lot of great takeaways. And I hope you enjoy what I'm going to share. And here we go. So the first thing,、um, how a global logistics network can bring value, it is that they can bring more partnership. And coverage. Obviously, if you work as an individual company, you are not going to.、Um, well, you are going to reach to some、um, certain coverage, and you know, and your partnership with overseas or local or any clients and so on. But it is very limited. But with the logistics network, because they are a profession, is to. Grow the partnerships and the coverage that helps you to do your work while you are busy focusing on something else. So the second thing,、um, what you can have from a global logistics network, which it can bring to you, is it helps to find you qualified members. So as I just shared as first point,、um, you are not the one who actually have been, you know. Focusing on doing overseas communications and getting partners from overseas, obviously, because you have so many other works that, like operational side or space issues or anything. As we all know, it is not easy to work in logistics industry. You are seven twenty four standing by for any problem, anything that's going to happen. So a logistics network can potentially, actually, they are. Um, they should be the one who are bring you very qualified members because you will spend time to filter the members.、Um, as the owner of SGN, I have been very selective in or whatever way I can to make sure that the members who I'm bring on board are really qualified because that's our job. We need to make sure we are the one who are filtering the part of、uh, filtering the partners. That's going to be on board. So the next one, the third thing, which、uh, a logistics network should be bring the value. Actually, it brings more business opportunities. As you know, you can have your own sales department, and you have your own operational department. You have a commercial department, and you can always、um, try to see for overseas business opportunities or local opportunities. But as a logistics network, they are not just going to bring you some direct potential sales leads from potential client directly. Obviously, they are the one who brings great partners for you, and these partners sometimes one can bring you huge benefits and huge business opportunity. It's like、um, as a logistic network, we just connect dot to dot. So just for a quick example, one of our、um, member that they are very strong in air freight and they have their regular. I think I share another time as well. They have the regular pallets and all the big guys have to use their service. But in the meantime, we have another partner who have huge、um, sales. You know, force that they can actually get lots of opportunities, but because of the rates they are getting are not competitive enough. Sometimes they're losing lots of、um, business opportunities. So when I connect this dot to another dot, these two parties get together. That's where the magic power happens. So yeah, a logistic network can definitely bring you lots of more business opportunities. Um, so that's one of the great values that they can bring, and the fourth one, fourth one that we having here is 
Definitely a logistics network can help its members to grow. It depends on which kind of logistic network it is. Um, as for SGN, that as example, we are new, but we are very members focused. So if you join our network, we are not just focusing on getting business, getting new partners, and so on. We also focus on how we're going to help you to grow. So there will be multiple areas that we can help. Um, that is why we are offering lots of different programs and we're not charging ridiculous money. All we're trying to do is to help and grow our members from different ways. One of the most popular and really, really great program we have been running um, and I think most or almost every member is enjoying it at the moment. We call it SSCWF. So it's a um, signature global SGN um, staff workshop and coaching program. So we have been spending at least once a month uh, the time with the members, staff, and their um, anyone who wants to join that coaching program. And people really loved it. And that's what a logistic network should be actually doing. If you're not doing, I really recommend that. That is really important for your members. Um, and the fifth one, which I'm having my note here, is strong support for its members. As for, um, except for, you know, grow its members, sometimes you really have to be standing by and support your members because um, it's like you're the family um, leader of the family. As myself, I always treat myself as a mom of SGN that I take care of my kids and um, someone will be laughing at me and say you're a mom and I'm always a mom, that's my personality and I am a mom of two um, daughters so yeah, I think it's um, a, a network, global logistics network should be supposed to delivering the great support to its members whenever they need help, they need support and that's where we're here for about this support, we also need to um, do something really in an um, actual way, such as you should set up regular meetings and time with your members and not just say, okay, you join my network, I'll see you in one year just in person and that's all. That's not what a logistics network should be doing. We should be really paying more time and attention to our members. So the sixth part of that is a logistic global network also has been acting as a logistic borders or companies center that they can combine all the strength. So what that, that mean is for SGN as example, we call ourselves as Superhero HQ because we are literally um, trying to combine all the um, great people and companies into one superhero HQ so that we can work together to um, empower and also to use our power to help people run us and help each other. So that is one of the very important part as a, um, a value that a logistics network can, can bring to this logistics industry. So the next one is the seventh. The seventh one is that as a logistics network, there are many third parties that are looking for great partners like for example as finding a freight forwarders to work with. They don't know where to find a good one. I think the logistics log um, network is a great place for them to look for, a great recommendations. Um, because they understand which are the good companies and different strengths where they can find it and so on and of course for like um, Technic companies or financial accountants and so on that whoever are having the clients from logistics Companies that they will be potentially getting great resources from a logistics network So yeah, that's a seven great values that a logistic global network can potentially bring to you. Of course, there are much, much more than that. But I hope these tips really helps you. And if you like our tips, please remember to subscribe our channel and so that you can receive all the updated helpful information from logistics industries. And um, I'll see you next time. And thank you for listening. Have a great day. Bye.